Hello everyone, welcome to ANSYS Artistry. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a split base Dutch pour and today's colors are going to be green and white and I have yellow for contrast. So similar to one of my previous compositions, I would like to have more design on the bottom and just spread out the paint on one side of the canvas. Um, before I start with today's painting, I would like to show you how one of my previous paintings dried. Here we have it, a split base uh, with a custom violet and white and layered with lots of purples and magentas. It's beautiful. I haven't given any kind of coating onto this yet. I'm going to wait for a few more weeks before I give a resin top finish on this. Look how beautifully it has dried. So for today's painting, I want something very similar to this um, with green. So let's get the base paint on half white, half green, and I will be right back. So I've put down the base paint. The white is actually the Artist Loft soft body acrylic paint mixed with um, titanium white by uh, Blicrylic both added together and then thinned down using flow troll and water. And the green here is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Emerald Green. This paint, I hope you can see that. This one, and I added few other shades of green. Um, Olive Green Deep by Amsterdam. I added Artist Loft Deep Green and then Artist Loft emerald green the tube paint so i mixed up these colors just to get the shade that i wanted um, all the paints have been mixed with floral and water and have similar consistency let me show you the drip test that i did before i started this painting here we go so i put down two drops of each of the colors that i'm using today and then just tilted the paper to see how uh, equally they flow so pretty consistent, right? So this is what I check for every time I start the painting just to make sure they have similar consistency. Okay, so for layering, I'm going to be using the same white and then uh, yellowish green by Amsterdam, Azo Yellow Deep by Amsterdam and Hooker's Green Hue Permanent by Liquitex. So actually three shades plus white I'm going to layer down in the middle and then have a little bit more design on the bottom side. Okay, let's get to layering the paints now. Oh, before I do, I have to pop all these air bubbles. Okay, that's my design. So that's the white. Now I have yellowish green by Amsterdam. Next, I'm going to be using Azo Yellow Deep by Amsterdam. This is my favorite shade of green. It's the Hooker's Green Hue Permanent by Liquitex. I really like this color.
So obviously because it's my favorite shade of dark green, I put it on top because I'm going to be seeing more of it. At least I hope I'm going to be seeing more of it. So uh, done with layering the paints, I'm going to put down a little bit more white, uh, actually the base paint, so white on this side. And the green on the other side. So sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't do this. I do this when I feel like I blowed the uh, base paint a little too much and there's not enough, so I just put on a little bit extra. So there we have everything layered, popping the air bubbles. Okay. Here we go with the fun part. Easy, right? <laughs> I'm just laughing at my own comment. Well, it looks pretty neat. I did want a little bit more green, but it shows up as a little bit more on the yellow side. But it's not bad, but I wanted more green. Like I said, I wanted more of this um, hooker's green to show up here. But, um, not a bad painting at all not a bad painting at all definitely not okay let's see uh don't like this thing here um but do i want to touch it that's the question let me see if i can fix it with the hair dryer Okay, that's fixed. I'm gonna take out this extra green line here. Same thing, dipping my finger in there. Hey, 
Okay, there we go. I don't think I need to fix anything else. This was a quick painting. I'm still looking to see if there's anything that I want to fix. Apparently, I don't see anything. Well, I guess I'm done. I still have to fix my edges. Look at this. I think this is a little bit transparent shade. It doesn't say anything on this. Hmm. But the emerald green tube paint by artist loft that's actually a transparent shade um, i have a lot of this base paint mixed up so all i have to do is just put more around the edges and let it flow on the side that's an easy fix okay so i'm done here i'll bring you down for a close-up so here's the close-up. The painting is beautiful. The color combination turned out really good. Um, I'm going to wait and see if some of these dry darker. I'm really interested in to see how the base color dries up and the yellow is going to give good contrast and the white obviously will be pretty beautiful too. Oh, a lot of cells here. Looks neat actually. And there's some here. I usually don't prefer having cells in a Dutch pour, but a little bit of it is okay. Well, there you have it. Uh, yellow, green, and white Dutch pour. Uh, before I let you go, I want to show you how I fix my edges. Look how I put a little bit more paint on it. So it neatly covered up the canvas. I still have to go one more time. Look at the edge. That doesn't look good, right? So I have to put more uh, base paint on it to cover it and I think it's on the same thing on this edge as well I'm going to show you this side if you don't put the second layer how is it going to look look at that right the canvas is showing over so the reason for that is because the base paint is transparent so it just needs more layer so I could have um, pre-painted this canvas uh, before putting the uh, thin down paint just use a brush and paint directly off of the bottle and pre-paint it. I could have done that to avoid this. So now that's out of question here now because I've already finished up with the painting. All I do is put one more layer of the base paint and it will cover. And I did this on this side. So see, it gives good coverage. So it's not a big deal, but you just have to remember to do that and have a lot of base paint mixed up. Um, even after the painting dries, it's better if you save a little bit just for touch-ups in the end. Don't forget to scrape the edges, which I'm going to do right after I send you over. Well, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Do hit that thumbs up button. I thank you for supporting my art channel. Please do consider subscribing and I shall see you in my next video. Until then, take care. Bye. Happy pouring.